breakfast. <sighs> All right, I finished having breakfast and now I am going to start my day. I have a se several things on my agenda. First things first, I need to put in a few ops tickets. So I need to, one of our clients apps are going live today. And so I'm just putting in a ticket to kind of like meet internally talk through everything, make sure that we're on the same page, make sure everything kind of goes smoothly with the go live date uh, of today, this afternoon, which is very exciting. And then second thing on the agenda is that I have a meeting, a daily stand up with one of my clients, my main clients this afternoon for half an hour to kind of talk through any questions or concerns that I might have, which there are many <laughs> because right now it's kind of like in the phase with this one client where I have built a bunch of things, but we need to get things tested. And I'm kind of to a point where I'm like, y'all need a test. UAT is like so important in like web development, app development, all that stuff. Like when you're launching something, having user acceptance testing done is just critical. Um, and that's what UAT stands for. So. I'm going to be talking through that with that client and then I have a internal meeting for a client who is going live later this afternoon and then my last meeting of the day is with the client that is going live. So we have an internal meeting, like an internal sync with our team members within my company and then this afternoon and then after that at the end of my day I already have like my sync with the client. And so that's where we're going to meet this afternoon just to kind of like talk through, make sure like the app is kind of running as expected. We'll have another meeting later this week to kind of talk through anything that might have come up or any questions or concerns that they might have. But essentially like their stuff is done. My hair is still a little bit wet because I washed my hair this morning. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but yeah, I keep forgetting to wash my hair on the weekends and I keep doing it on a Monday. And that just needs to not happen. You know what I mean? Like I need to do it on a Saturday or Sunday instead of on a Monday. But I'm washing my hair and I'm being consistent with that and that is what matters and that is good. But other than that, that is uh, my day is pretty chill. I don't have like a ton going on, which is nice see that is also completed okay everything is complete for this one client which is so good So I'm currently in a meeting, but I'm waiting for my client to show up. So hopefully today is not a no-show. I'm thinking, I have a, a, a feeling, a very strong feeling it is gonna be a no-show, which is unfortunate, but it happens. <sighs> that was from our ops team. Uh, I got an email for the other thing, which is good. Um, but oh my gosh, my head, my neck is so tired. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're meeting today. Because we're eight minutes in and they have not shown up. Okay, I am going to continue working here and then um, I will check in with y'all later because I did laundry again. And I don't think I showed you in the last vlog that I did my laundry, but I kind of want to show that. Just, you know, doing the normal mundane things like doing your laundry, cleaning my dishes, making like cleaning my apartment and stuff, um, which is key. Where it's at. Getting a last minute flight, but I said, shoot, them things are expensive. 
Yeah, no, flights have been crazy. And then also flights keep getting canceled for people. Yeah, the weather. Yeah, the weather's. The launch went really, really well. So it went from a half hour meeting to a two hour meeting, but that is okay. Everything got finished. And I think I mentioned it in previous vlogs, but our project manager who was like going through it, like he's taking the rest of the week off. And I'm like, yeah, you deserve it because this was a lot, this was hard, but yeah, there was just like, you know, minor communication things that kind of like happened and it happened on both sides, which like is just a part of everyday life. Like you get requirements, you interpret them a certain way, you start asking questions and then they say yes or no. And then based on their answers, you kind of like go about your business and then you start doing it and then maybe the client might come back being like, oh, we actually did this wrong or we actually did this right or this is not actually what I meant. And it also could just be like interpretation, how things were communicated to us, how things were written out. It can happen on both sides and it can happen often. And it's just, you know, making sure that we're being proactive in how we're dealing with, with it. I'm gonna journal now. Um, got my nice little journal here been really into journaling so that is what I'm gonna do and I will check in with y'all later okay much better so I just went with a uh, went on a walk with my friend at Wash Park which you guys kind of saw it was really good I realized that I've walked for about an hour um, very leisurely and oh appointment reminder um, yeah it was a nice little leisurely walk I oh, I got in a good amount of steps today I am thinking of trying an iced Americano I've never had an Americano I've always wanted to try it um, I have creamer at home, which I think is going to help. So I'm going to try to find a coffee shop right now near me. We're on the way home and have an iced Americano. Apparently I'm driving the opposite way already, which is fine. Okay, first time trying an Americano. Bitter, <laughs> should've known. Good thing I have creamer at home. Uh, all right, time to go home. I don't have plans until this evening, afternoon, uh, I thought I was going to hang out at a coffee shop all day today, but I'm just going to chill at home, get a little bit of work done, reorganize a few things, and then I'm going to go to a barbecue this afternoon. Maps. Take me home. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today, is not go to a coffee shop, but instead stay home have coffee at home add some creamer to this so i can drink it because an ice americano scent is disgusting <laughs> so just to preface i'm not saying that, that coffee shop has bad coffee i'm just saying that i don't really like that 
I don't really like iced Americanos. Like, first taste test, which that was like my first ever iced Americano, that was not my favorite. But in tasting it a little bit more, it is higher in acidity, their coffee beans are. And if their coffee beans were low in acidity, I would definitely like it more. Because I can have like plain coffee every now and then. I definitely don't do this as a norm. Um, but I can have plain coffee. The coffee just need, needs to be low acidity. And this one is high acidity, so it's not my favorite. Um, because there are coffees that I enjoy and have had in the past that are low acidity and I have not needed any cream or sugar or anything. It just tastes so good. But yeah, that was not <laughs> my favorite. But there's nothing wrong with this iced Americano. It's just not my preference. Um, still, like, go to that coffee shop, try it out. It's a good, like, it's a cute little coffee shop. I prefer matcha latte and I prefer chai lattes because I'm a tea person. I prefer tea and uh, tea caffeine is typically a lot easier on my body, especially matcha, which matcha is known to just like be easier um, when it comes to caffeine on everybody's bodies. But yeah, I'm gonna put creamer in this and, that, and then I'll be fine. <laughs> See that? See that color change? Yeah. I thought ice Americanos would, it, would be like a thing that I would try going forward, but I don't think they are. I think I'm just gonna stick with my normal preference of matcha lattes. And if I wanna do like a pure latte, like matcha latte drink. It wouldn't even be a latte, but like, I would just have a matcha drink with some ice. Yeah, ice Americanos are, are not it for me. But I'm gonna go back to that coffee shop and I'm gonna try their matcha. And I'm sure their matcha is gonna be great. Usually love everybody's matchas. But y'all know Tokyo Premium Bakery has a special place in my heart. All right. Now that it has creamer in it, like it's not as acidic, which is nice. The acidity is cut down in taste. Although I know like milk is acidic and coffee is acidic, but still the taste of it has cut down. It's not as intense on its own. It'd be, I think I would like an ice Americano if I had like a dessert with it, you know? Kind of like how you have like something sweet with something bitter and it like balances it out. That's what this creamer did with this iced Americano. It was just too acidic for me. Anyways, I'm going to carry on watching Doom, which is a Korean drama on Netflix. Hi, Ru. Hi, Ru. <laughs> I love that one. We're the ones that love that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do. Yeah. 